No. I'm telling you, this way is easier. It's faster. All right. Bet. Don't be running. I see you. Y'all, the door handle to get to the garage was off. Like, on a Monday. Come on. People gotta go to work. <laughs> you ran. Yo, goofy ass, you ran. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning from I look like an egg. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat you for breakfast when we get back, baby. My little egg, you don't even have protein. <laughs> I think I look like an egg. I'm so pale right now. What's, What's going, going on, Mary Welcome back to our channel, guys. If you're new, it makes you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, turn on your post notifications, and join the family. family. We we got out of the house a little bit later today, but the sun's still not up, so yeah. we're good. So we're about to get to the gym, and we're also giving you guys a different kind of video. It's gonna be a long one, but pretty much we're filming like a week in our life. Like pretty much we're just gonna film our days because we're in a weird time period right now where we're just we're we're looking for houses. We're potentially gonna get another car or a different car. We're having to move in the next three days. Like we're busy as shit right now. And it's like, we wanna take you guys along this process because we've been doing so much shit. We just have a bunch that's coming up and you guys are gonna be seeing that in this vlog. So it's pretty much gonna be like a bunch of different days combined yeah. together. And we wanted to show you guys, you know, our, how we're honestly keeping ourselves on track with all of this by yeah. getting up early and staying on a routine, staying on, on track, um, gym morning routine. Yeah. I would say. Yeah, because honestly, we've been doing the same type of routine for a little bit now, but I feel like recently we've been really strict on a routine because I started 30 hard, I want to say less than two weeks ago, but basically I, to be straight, I stopped it. And it was because what I started to realize was a lot of the things that involved 30 hard were things that I was already doing as a routine. And I felt like I was creating content and focusing all my time basically on things, obviously a little bit tweaked, like instead of 6.30, I was waking up at 5.30 and things that I just tweaked, but I was focusing so much on that routine instead of sticking to my normal routine and then adding things that I know I need to improve on and so that's kind of why the routine has been you look like a damn uh, pepper I no I look like a <laughs> look like an apple <laughs> I look like a Cullen from a what from Twilight a what a Cullen Cullen like Edward Cullen you like Edward Cullen <laughs> yes <laughs> you see I'm like don't look at me. But I definitely think that the week of 30 hard that I did do kind of opened my eyes to realize how much discipline I'm capable of. I can honestly like pop up a list of all the things that I was doing to just give myself some structure, like teach myself discipline and want to just be on a strict routine with yourself to like show yourself confidence, discipline, motivation. I feel like they're gonna wanna see your workout more than mine. They can go follow our Snapchats. They wanna see full workouts too. Yeah. If you wanna see like my workout, go follow my Snap. Right? Yeah. And also a lot of like what I just talked about and lifestyle, daily, honestly daily vlogs, we do all on Snapchat. That shit out, let's go. Don't hide.
see it? Oh yeah, you can see that. Whoa. Hey guys, going to look at cars today. I'm so excited. I've been looking at cars for a little bit now because y'all know Ryan has his vet and he loves that. That was like his dream car. And y'all know, like I wanted a car like this for so long and we've had it for a long time. It's been through a lot with us. It drove us around the country twice. It did. That's right. sad. I know it's sad when you think about it. I feel like I feel like so much stuff has like closed and like new pages are opening. Yeah. For like so many different things in our life. And so it's crazy that this was like my first car with like our money and I don't know. It it feels sad to want to get rid of it, but at the same time. And as much as I you go loved, from a Nissan Burst to a damn Range Rover, y'all. That sugar daddy got money. <laughs> yeah. But as much as it like hurt, like I actually, I feel like I'm like giving away a, I don't know, like giving away my first car. Yeah, now, now you gonna see. Now you gonna see what it feels like when I had to get rid of Ego, the Challenger. I know it's gonna be really that sad. car. I, that was my first car with my own money. But what was crazy is what we're going to look at today. Yeah, and honestly, this is nothing like the. Ring. Yeah, and I feel like you guys are gonna be surprised at what we're looking at. But I don't know. I've always and there, the other side of me has always liked cars like this. So I don't know. In this one car in particular, I drool over every single time I see one how long have I been talking about like anytime I see one I'm like oh my gosh that's so I, nice I like what we're going to look at because they're they got meat to them you know what I'm saying like they're big they're big body which this is funny because like, I'm like this is technically gonna be like my I, I know but that's exactly that's exactly why we can't we're gonna go look at something like this because with Joe driving you can't be driving no damn bug like the range this shit is too small you get Knowing you, you get in an accident. Yeah, you need a big body. I'm not gonna get in an accident. I'm just saying. I'm a good driver. Why do you think I drive everywhere? Because you don't let. Okay, y'all. I can't I don't drive. drive. I cannot sit passenger. Because, right. That's why. I can't, not no, because, because I'm. You can't drive. No. Is why. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. You don't ever let anybody drive. I can't sit passenger. I can let my dad drive. I can't sit passenger with you. Your dad is the worst driver. <laughs> You're obviously a better driver than me, but I'm still a good driver. No, you be Yo, she'll be calling me. My palms are sweating. I'm sitting in traffic and they're going on and off and I'm in the fifth lane. Like, bro, she calling me like no, scared. No, okay, that was like two years ago. Nope. Now I don't. You, when you go get your hair done. Right, I call you because I'm sitting in traffic and people are Girl, dumb. stop, stop downplaying it. Okay, basically, anyways, we're gonna go look at cool cars and we'll just see how it goes. Literally right as we pull up. I'm not gonna This is what I want. For you, this is what I want. Ryan likes the whole like wide body thing. This is what we're doing. Like everything about this is what we're doing. Oh, is if we it? No, oh, is it? Is it? No, Ryan likes some like transformer shit like that. Oh, I want you driving a tank so you don't get hurt. That literally looks like an alien. Call the apocalypse. <laughs> so you're gonna drive me to my hair. Think about it. You on the street in this. Let's see it. Could you imagine? What do y'all y'all see it? Wait, let me see. It's just the tires are wider, but like, Debbie, right. you don't understand when you have something like this, people are gonna be avoiding you. <laughs> right, but I'm driving right, and I'm driving in a small ass Camaro. This is available? No way. Just finished. It's How available? 82. 82? It's a Montana and Ryan. Yeah, we're on TikTok and stuff too. <laughs> Maybe I've seen you on TikTok. Maybe that's where I've seen you. Yeah. <laughs> the other day, you looked really familiar. I was a meme one, so you might have. 
I was a meme, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we find it. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> you know it's a big car when you got grabbed. <laughs> That's what it's for though. I see it though. You want to just take this one? <laughs> wow, even the inside. <laughs> Why would you suggest driving this one? Like, there's no way out. There's, there's no way I'm gonna pull out of here. Maybe I'll pull it out of here and then we'll stop on the side street. Yeah. You can't be scared of it. I know, but like, I, it's different if it was like my car. No, I know, but it might be your car. This one isn't though. <laughs> Yo, but I want hold on. I want to give a shout out to South Florida Jeeps. That's where we are, SoFlo Customs in Fort Lauderdale. They said we could fully customize one, but shout out to them because this is like the no, best dealership. This guy is this so cool. For so long, like yeah. years. Before we even moved to Miami, we knew yeah. about this dealership. This is this yeah. is right. This is this is me, right? I'm like a little girl, right? And then like you see the hood, that's like something serious, okay? To drive this, it's like literally a tank. The lighting is good though. You got a little like thing. Ooh ooh. Hank hank. Brian's making fun of me because I look like do I look little? I just feel like that's so big for me. But if you guys haven't noticed already, oh I've been looking at Broncos for forever. I see one, I love it. This actually is really nice. What it feels like good to drive? Yeah. I think I've driven a truck this big though, so driving a truck this big, a little different. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we switched and we're gonna see if Montana likes driving. But it rides smooth. Yeah. I think it's more so about you're gonna just try and feel out like how wide it actually is. Yeah. I think that's more so of what you would have to get just used to, but. Because it's like right now. Like I'm all, like way yeah. over here, but like I'm probably in the middle. Yeah, you're you're good. How I feel? Turning it felt smooth, right? Yeah. Didn't feel like you're I tugging just, like, it. Yeah. <laughs> Going through driving school again. Right. <laughs> well, the size just throws you off. Yeah. No, this is good. I feel like it was, it's pretty smooth. I always get nervous in the range because I'm like, oh, it can't really like, come over and bump. Yeah. Okay, this is like, yeah, you can hit them full speed. Pretty <laughs> 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 good. Felt good? I'm a pro. You parked it good too, so. What do y'all think? Y'all see her in it? All right, what y'all think? Let us know if you guys see her in it. We talked a little bit about like the process with them and everything and what we could do with a Bronco. Like they do everything. Like everything that you could think of that a car would want and need, they do it. So we were kind of just talking pricing and just, yeah, how everything goes. What are you thinking? I mean, it's whatever you're thinking. What? Okay. It's awesome. what you're going to be driving. Right, but like basically Ryan was like, but we're going to have to have this, that, and the other, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts. And I'm like, oh, okay, so this is your car. I'm just car, trying so to mod it out, girl. Like, I'm trying to let you roll in style and save. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> you can't tell me that shit we drove in wasn't the nicest shit. No, it was, it was nice, but. Did you show them the Jeeps? Well, maybe they saw it. But yeah. they have Jeeps there too. But Montana was leading more towards the Bronco. It's I don't know. What been... do y'all think? Make sure y'all are letting us know in the comments. We're in the comments answering back. And we want your guys' opinions on everything. Yeah, because the thing is that, like, I'm, I feel like I'm a We're little... in a confusing time in life right now. Where we just cannot make fucking decisions. So we need y'all for real. I really just don't know what to do because every car that, like, I'm looking at is around the same price. So it's like, what kind of car... Like, I don't know. I just don't know what vibe. All I know is that I've always seen Broncos and every time I see one, it catches my eye way more than like a Mercedes or a Corvette. <laughs> I just said that to be though, funny. I'm, I got a Corvette and you have a Bronco. Girl in her 20s, like, 
Damn. I, the reason why bad. I like the Bronco is because I feel like it's still giving like pretty. You know, like I still feel like you can soup up a Bronco and it still looks like a pretty girl car. Hey, Shadi, you look fine. Come to my crib. <laughs> Come to my crib. You know what I'm yeah. Welcome to paradise. Right. Where you're not going to want to leave. So I'm going to be your guys' tour guide today. What I'm going to show you is the beautiful homes that nothing compares to. Real talk, I already walked through the first one. Yeah. We wanted to like kind of get a gist of We wanted to make sure we weren't wasting our time pretty right. much. And we are not wasting our goddamn time. Let me tell y'all. Come here. Wait, wait, first I just want to say, this is their biggest model and their most expensive. So, <laughs> it just so happens that this is literally the first one that we're looking at, but... Alright, come here. Come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. Now turn. We're not going to show them all we yet. Okay. Look at, the, look at the first entryway. We got 20 foot ceilings. Yeah. Now the thing is, is obviously when you guys pay attention to all like the little fine details, like the mirror and then how it's painted up there and how it's like kind of a uh, cross crossword or what's that called? Like it's like tic tac. Tech, yeah. That was like tic tac toe ceiling. That's what we're gonna call that, the tic tac toe ceiling. Mm -hmm. All that kind of stuff. Obviously, like you guys are seeing these houses decked out. Yeah. But it, like the big ass chandelier when you first walk in. Yeah, obviously colors and little things like aren't gonna be what we're looking for, but like it's mainly just like the layout and the space and all that. Yeah, so when you first walk into your right, we have bedroom him, bedroom her. Alright. <laughs> we got first bedroom, full bed, full bath, bedroom number one. Baby room will be over here. Mm -hmm. And then that'll be probably Keo and Callie's room. No. And it has a full bath. Oh wow. See, so something about the tall shower curtain is crazy to me. This house is crazy. The 20 foot ceilings across the whole floor plan. Just make it look so bright. Y'all, come in, come in, come in. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Oh, sit down for me. You want come in my second living room. Okay. This is just the entry living room. Okay. I like to greet my guests with something. <laughs> Okay. Imagine there's cameras. Right. I want to see the this is the model. Oh, there room. is. There is. <laughs> we have a living room right here. You guys can see. And then we have to the right. We have a full dining room where we can actually sit down as a family and have family family time. Yeah, family, like family dinners. Time. Yeah. And then literally right here we have just like extra spaces, extra cabinets. This is the part of the kitchen. Yeah. But we're gonna get there. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to show you guys like the dining area that we can have like a like it's like I like that it is separate like it yeah. makes it more intimate Exactly because you know? I feel like for honestly in the past couple of years we haven't actually had like a dinner table We literally just eat at our island. I know, that's so cool. it'll be nice to actually wait, 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 back up, back up, back up. You guys saw the full kitchen Look at this. We have a bar that kind of wraps around to the living room from the kitchen mm -hmm. and we have sink number one and all the cabinets to the ceiling right here. Then when you come around, we got floor to ceiling cabinets. We got a massive, like y'all, this This island, island is gorgeous. Like you see how thick she is like. <laughs> Two ovens, a vent, all, like, all of it is just like more like her. I don't know how to say it. Like, yeah, it, it, feels, it feels like a home. Like yeah. when you're in an apartment, it doesn't feel like, it doesn't they really just, feel like a home. You feel so like they just like throw things in there that like work and. Yeah. Get you by. <laughs> I don't even know what you would use this for, but it's a whole separate sink. Obviously, you have a full view of your the beautiful pool that we're gonna show y'all, and then we have a little river view. Please show the pantry for me, please. <laughs> oh look! Oh, what is that? It's a microwave. I think I think it's a heater. It's a microwave. Oh, what? Yeah, it's a microwave. No way. Yeah, built in. And then we have a see-through. So nice. Like so the, the, beautiful. The, 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 how they do this. It's just so nice. You, boy, I didn't even walk in here. That's what I was trying to tell you. Oh my goodness. It's so big. Like they utilize the space so yeah. nice. Like and what I like about it. Yes. And how you, can, how you can separate and have so much space to it. Like mm -hmm. we're not going to have nothing laying out. Like 
that's one thing that you guys probably over the years have seen us that we haven't had no space for nothing. <laughs> then you come into the massive living room with a fireplace. It's just so much so space pretty. in here, you know? Like the dogs will have so much space and just roam free. Yeah. Our kids when we have a family. Now one thing that sells me every time is the slide indoors to the back pool. Y'all, this is gorgeous. I feel like you have kind of been seeing a repetitive look on our backyard and like what we've been looking at. We could have a cute build. Right. And we could, we could, I see pictures of people doing infinity pool where Ooh. it kind of spills over. It's so beautiful. Wow. A lot of people have these like little screens. Me personally, I hate the way that they look. I definitely like the more of like the fence idea and just leaving it open. What's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> We're coming to the master. Big. I'm talking y'all, I'm talking Huge. big. This is like the size of our living room now. This is the biggest master bedroom that we have seen out of all the tours that we've done. I swear. Out of all the tours. We got a nice wow. window. It doesn't go to the floor, but I like how they have like the chairs and they show like we could be sitting right here while our kids or the dogs are outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like. Oh, and there's so space nice. to it though. Like it doesn't feel like things are on top of each other. Like this is the type of stuff I've always wanted to do in our bedroom. Yeah, we just don't ever have like. We never have the space yeah, for it. We have double door to the king <laughs> and queen bathroom suite. What, we guys? The, the tub. Just picture my beautiful queen right here, laid oh, up. Oh, just laid up. Laid up, oh. drinking, sipping on some wine. While I'm watching the kids. While I'm playing in the pool with them or something. <laughs> We got a massive shower. It was yeah. so long. This bathroom is truly crazy. Like, so y'all can just you just turn it on here and then you step in. Like, now no more reaching in trying to not get burnt and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? His and her sinks, which is they just think. How you doing? Hi right, guys. I'm gonna do my morning skincare. Hold your breath. Right. Hold your breath. Like, what? <laughs> no way. We got a walk. Talk about walking. This is a bedroom. Yeah. This really. is a bedroom. We have. We can have an island in our bedroom. Are you serious? And then, on, and we could put, we could put like a little chair in here, like. Oh my god. Like make it like we could do it really nice. What is this? A hamper. A hamper. A hamper. Are we? Hold up. Are we kidding? Best house I think we have seen. Y'all know that we've been living in Miami for a while on and off. This is another half bath, kind of like guest bathroom. And then we have a full bedroom again. He oh, what is this called? Like the laundry, laundry room. room. Laundry room. Has a sink, floor to ceiling cabinets. Like what? Like this is what I aspire to like of the wife that I am. I just want to come in here and do laundry all day. I feel so good in this house. Yeah. I feel amazing in this house. Keo, don't eat your sister like that. <laughs> what is you doing? <laughs> I don't even want to leave this house. I just want to get comfortable. Oh, no, right? This house also does come with a three car garage. Yeah. So that's really good for us too. And it has epoxy flooring. Oh my God. Because three car garage, we only have two cars. We get a golf cart. A or, golf cart for that one. Or we can make a gym. Right. Okay, I just wanted to hop on the camera because we're in another house right now and I want to show you guys like these floors are literally the floors that we want. But this is actually a two-story house. I'm gonna look at the second floor. Okay. So I'll just give you like a fast little that's the kitchen, living room, bedroom. Uh, this is kind of boxy in here. Laundry room. It's a little boxed off, but I kind of like it because what I would want to do for the. Oh wow, the stairs. Oh, yeah. see, I like this because this is the garage and like having a little nook area is like, dang. But I like how this is boxed off from the rest of the house because I would turn this. They turn it into a gym, but I would turn it into a full movie room. So we would have the movie room screen. I would put couch in here, like. Mm. Set it up nice, build like a higher section so the back end is higher. Yeah. And then big projector screen. And then this is a full bathroom. And then a full bathroom so, up here. And I would put a little cabinet. Or I could like put the snacks. projector screen that way. Make the couches here. 
and then do like a little uh, like closet for snacks and like a little refrigerator and stuff. With all of this space, it feels more comfortable to, mm. to, oh shoot. Oh wow. Oh wow. Whoa. The black definitely in our vibe. Yeah. More like white and gold, brown, tan, mm -hmm. space. But it's so nice. Oh wow. See something about these clothes. They really went all out for these clothes. That see that's one thing that I don't understand why people like the other houses that we looked at, they were nice, but they didn't prioritize closets at all. No, this is the basic biggest closet we've seen. Yeah. That we could do something with. That's the thing y'all gotta keep in mind that we're able to do something with these. Mm -hmm. Wait, no. see, like, what is this? So this is a bathroom for outside. What? Like, you don't go in the house from the That's room. That's crazy. Yes, yeah, it's <gasps> so sick. I actually love that. That's like such a good idea, especially like family based, because you just want to be able to. I could see myself in this house for like 10 years. 10 years? Wow. I like the. I do like the screen. I don't know if I would do it. Yeah, I don't like the screen. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no. <laughs> I said that earlier. This one is a smaller version of what we just saw. Mm. See, I like the floor. Cute little room. Cute little girl's room. Oh, dang. This is going to have a little hallway. This is half bath. This is a bedroom. That's a really small closet. I like how each bedroom does come with a full bathroom to it. Mm -hmm. The camera's gonna die, so this is the laundry. This has an upstairs. Here, here. This has an upstairs. And then it has like a little loft. Which we would probably make a little girl. Full bath. It has a little closet over there. Garage. Okay. This is like a little lounge office. We're probably making an office. Smaller living room, but it's nice. And then this is the kitchen. Really nice still. And this is a, obviously smaller square footage wise. And then we have a section for like dining table, dinner table. Oh, the infinity pool out back. Yeah, the infinity pool is crazy. I'm actually not gonna even go out there and show you guys, but y'all see how pretty it is. A lot of room for furniture. I like how this is cornered. It gives more light in the kitchen. Oh yeah. Low key. I didn't even recognize that. It gives way more light in the in the it's kitchen. Like all, wow. Oh wow, look. You can open it fully this way and that way. So this whole thing will open up to a corner oh, open. See, that's pretty. Wow, um, yeah, that's the cool. Master, master. The master be bedrooms are are massive here. Yeah. Oh, no tub. I know. Ah. No. But at least that's a bench. It makes <laughs> it so pretty. But this is a closet, not as big. We can still put an island in here. Or something. Something. Yeah. Hold it. We're moving. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving. Ah, y'all. This is, life is crazy. So pretty much to explain, we have two days until we're getting kicked out. <laughs> we got evicted. We pretty much can't afford and we're going broke. Um, So we are gonna be living on the corner. In an RV. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, no, no, I, I knew that I didn't say that. I'm sorry, okay, okay, go. <laughs> for real, for real. We, as you guys know, we are gonna be buying our home, buying mm -hmm. our, uh, you know, a, our future home that we want to stay in for a while. Um, we're done with apartment living. Yeah. But what's bad about it, the downside to buying a home that is new construction, because we want a new construction house. We don't want nobody living in our shit before or prior. We want our own stuff. We want to put our own stuff in it. We want to decorate it and put it how we want it, you know? Right. And with well, that process that. is time. We have it to takes wait. Time. We have to wait. And they like, take, they take anywhere from six to 12 to, months to build. Yeah. So right now we're not fully in the process yet of building the home. And but, that's honestly because we still need to choose where we want to be. We're still yeah, we have, in so the we house have a bunch process. of different, yeah, we have a bunch of different ones that we 
have uh, moved forward with, but like mm -hmm. are just in the early stages of like, what can we do to it? You know, pricing and stuff like that. Um, you know, we're trying to be real with y'all, like about this whole process of buying a home and stuff. So um, there's a lot to think about because yeah. it's like a big step, and you want to we want to make sure that we love what we're about to get ourselves into. Yeah. So regardless, yeah, we needed to sign another lease. And guess what? It's January. We literally move every January. So like, what a shock, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we are signing another lease is for 12 months but we don't know like we could end up leaving in six months we yeah. could end up leaving in eight months like it all depends on we want to really get a house and be set on a house within the next like m by by the end of march honestly i would say like yeah um, start the like the full like building process yeah and however long that takes once it's done then we'll leave our lease and then we'll we'll be in our new home so that yeah. could be within it which we're hoping is within a year but um, being honest with you guys our every year if you live in an apartment complex every year the prices go up if you live in an apartment you know how it works y'all our shit went up up and we like, want to be straight up with y'all like nobody won't be paying no fucking rent that damn high like bro like I, I, it's just not worth it. You no. know what I'm saying? To us, it's not worth it to be putting money in other people's pocket. You know, but we're all at this also, age that that, that y'all need to have those conversations. Also, wait, you're on my hair. Sorry. <laughs> but also, oh, but we also don't want to move to a completely different place. Yeah, we're tired of like packing up trucks and fucking, y'all, we drove across the country and back, <laughs> like trying to move and shit. Basically, what we came to the conclusion is that we need to find another unit in our building that is the price range that we want to be in because obviously if we're putting all of our money into this house in this like next chapter of our life then we want to downsize but we also just want to save where we can that's obviously like what you do yeah when you're like going for something yeah that's but it's expensive. also so the unit that we ended up the apartment that we ended up getting is i think nicer we're honestly excited for it because we do move every january and like it almost feels like we were needing it like yeah. it's weird yeah and it's it is and it kind of just gives us like a reset oh my gosh we literally are moving in in Two days. two days not tomorrow but the next day so we have to get boxes and i want to get some containers to make everything organized so whenever we go up there it's not a hard move though yeah. it's just we're moving upstairs technically so like we just have to go up obviously like some floors but like it's it's not like you're leaving buildings so yeah. we're it's literally just trips up and down like but we get to rearrange things we get to how we're setting up the new place is going to be more even more homey like i still feel like how we set up how you set up your place is how you make it feel homely homey mm -hmm. and i feel like how we're about to set it up because we went up there and we mapped out the whole thing already the, it's gonna be gorgeous Yes. It's gonna yeah, it's gonna be amazing. So we're at the container store. We're maybe gonna get some like organizers, um, just things to to help us in this decluttering process, so that mm -hmm. we can start organized in the new place. We're trying to figure out organizing stuff. Yeah, like being able to start fresh and then like taking our stuff and just putting it there, and then already in the organizers. That's what we're wanting. So we're buying organizers for like we have a full pantry now, like an actual little closet for it. So we yeah. have that, and we're gonna get uh, organizers for our refrigerator and some of like the maybe the co little cabinets are you going with all clear stuff yeah i think so all clear for like refrigerator and cabinets yeah okay this is a new egg one Let's is this, this a drawer yeah it's a drawer and, like you like it like sticks down and then you just pull it out pull it in. Oh, okay. adulting Yay. organization <laughs> there's little things like this that need to be organized just wait like what is this that's why we got bins so everything will have a place no more clutter i can't do it sally what'd you do huh what'd you do you soak your mama okay so cali shit herself i'm gonna start tearing up the room getting all this broken down organized so that we have a easy move Try to put my 
I'm really Yeah, I heard. How long has it been out? I think a year. Oh, so you're piercing your belly button in that nugget process? Yeah, I've done it a few times. So. Yeah, you're weird. Oh, that hurts. <clears throat> you did it? No, it's almost there. Oh. I can see it, but. You have it like, lubricated with oil? I can't. No, I can't. Yeah, you just have to break a little bit more skin. Yeah. Really cute girl. Alright guys, few last minute updates. I I'm gonna run right down and get the mail. Kelly. Okay, I got my belly button ring in. It wasn't that bad. Only bled a little bit. And I re basically re-pierced it before. What else? We're in our new apartment. We're like 90% organized, I would say. Callie got really big. So Kelly girl, come here. She's so big. And a girly girl. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, one last thing. I got my nails done for February for Valentine's Day. You can take a screenshot of your nail and spell. But yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Apartment tour coming kind of soon. We're waiting on some other little pieces that we ordered. We love you guys so much. And we'll see you guys next video. Remember, work out.